Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Amazon Dynamo DB with VPC endpoints, followed by a quick demo. A VPC endpoint for Dynamo DB enables EC2 instances in the VPC to use their private IP addresses to access Dynamo DB with no exposure to the public internet. Traffic between the VPC and the AWS service does not leave the Amazon network. EC2 instances do not require public IP addresses, an internet gateway, a NAT device, or a virtual private gateway in the VPC. When you create a VPC endpoint for DynamoDB, any requests to a DynamoDB endpoint within the region are routed to the private DynamoDB endpoint within the Amazon network. You don't need to modify your applications. The endpoint name remains the same, but the route to DynamoDB stays entirely within the Amazon network and does not access the public internet. You can additionally use VPC endpoint policies to control access to DynamoDB. In this demo, we are going to set up a VPC gateway endpoint to enable connectivity to DynamoDB. Let's navigate to the VPC console. We already have a VPC created, VPC A with a CIDR block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16. We have couple of private and public subnets in the US East 1A and 1B region. Public subnets are connected to the custom route table, which has a route entry to the internet gateway. Private subnets are connected to the main route table with only the default local route. Let's go ahead and launch some EC2 instances for testing. We are going to create two EC2 instances, a bashing host in the public subnet and a private instance in the private subnet for testing our connectivity to the DynamoDB through the VPC gateway endpoint. Let's create our first EC2 instance. Name it DynamoDB VPC Endpoint Bastion Host Amazon Linux AMI 64-bit architecture T2 Micro Use our existing demo key pair. Let's go ahead and edit the network settings. Select VPC A Choose public subnet in the US East 1A. Enable auto assign public IP as we are launching the instance in the public subnet and would SSH into it. For security group, let's use default, which would allow all incoming and outgoing traffic for now. Storage is fine with 30 GB. Let's go ahead and launch our Bastion host. As the instance is launching, let's go ahead and create our private instance as well. Enter name Dynamo DB VPC endpoint test. Amazon Linux AMI. 64-bit architecture. T2 Micro. We'll use the same existing demo key pair. Let's edit the network settings. Select VPC A. Choose private subnet in US East 1A. Auto assign public IP disabled as we are launching the instance in the private subnet. For security group, let's use default. And storage is fine with 30 GB. Let's go ahead and launch our private instance. Let's wait for the instances to be in the running state.
We will need an IAM role to be associated with the EC2 private instance to communicate with DynamoDB. Let's navigate to the IAM console. And we already have an IAM role created for our previous demos. Navigate to the roles on the left pane. Search for demo and we have an existing EC2 demo role created. Permission policies for this IAM role allows read-only access to DynamoDB. Navigate back to our EC2 console. Let's wait for the instances to be ready. The instances are in the running state now with both the status checks passed. Let's add the demo IAM role to the private instance. Select the private instance, navigate to Actions, Security and modify the IAM role. Let's choose the demo role and update IAM role for the instance. And the IAM role has been successfully attached to the EC2 instance. Let's now go ahead and test our connectivity to DynamoDB from the private instance. Let's open a terminal. SSH into the Bastion host. And SSH into our private instance from the Bastion host. We will run the DynamoDB command list tables using the AWS CLI and it won't connect to DynamoDB even though the AC2 instance has access to DynamoDB. As the private instance does not have internet connectivity and there is no VPC endpoint setup as of now. We will now create a VPC gateway endpoint for DynamoDB to enable the instances in private subnet to communicate with DynamoDB. Open the VPC console. In the navigation pane, choose Endpoints. Choose Create Endpoint. Enter the name tag DynamoDB VPC Endpoint. For service category, choose AWS Services. For services, add the filter type gateway and it will only show S3 and DynamoDB. Select DynamoDB. For VPC, select the VPC in which to create the endpoint. We will select VPC A. For route tables, select the route tables to be used by the endpoint. We will select the main route table as this is the one associated with the private subnets. Using console, Amazon automatically adds a route that points traffic destined for the service to the endpoint network interface. For policy, select full access for now to allow all operations by all principles on all resources over the VPC endpoint. You can also select custom to attach a VPC endpoint policy that controls the permissions that principals have to perform actions on resources over the VPC endpoint. Choose create endpoint. You usually have to change the route tables that are associated with the gateway endpoint. However, when you associate a route table from console, AWS automatically adds a route that points traffic for the service to the endpoint network interface. Let's explore the VPCA main route table to check if the route was added. Navigate back to the VPC and Route Tables. Select the main route table. 
and we can see an entry being added for the prefix list destination and target being the VPC endpoint. This should enable the communication from the instance to DynamoDB. Let's retest the connectivity to DynamoDB from our private instance again. Rerun the AWS DynamoDB list tables command and this time the listing is successful. So that's it for the quick demo on VPC endpoints with DynamoDB. A VPC gateway endpoint for DynamoDB enables EC2 instances in the VPC to use their private IP addresses to access DynamoDB with no exposure to the public internet. I hope you liked the demo. Thank you all. Alright, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.